Hey friends, it's your girl Nicole and I'm back with another video. So, um, if you're watching my vlogs, you should know that this video was coming. We were going to make this video and I was going to put this video out and we were going to do our thing because your girl got a new car and I wanted to give y'all a car tour and you know, y'all probably like, girl, I ain't showing the car while you're over here talking because I want to give you guys the specs and some of the details before we get into viewing the vehicle. It is a Hyundai Tucson inline. That's very important because it's the type of tier that it is. It's an inline 2023. Okay. Um, this baby, I call him Prime, it is a he. And as you'll see in the video, that it is it's a pearl white, it has like little shimmers and glimmers inside of it. Um, it's white. Now I did want a black, but the black one didn't have a sunroof and it also was a 2022 but you know it still had all the other specs in it that was you know needed it has apple carplay bluetooth navigation all that good stuff that you know obviously comes top of the top tier cars we have heated seats you know um you know cruise control volume all that good stuff you know steering wheel assistance you have the little sensors on your mirrors you know we have all of the of the lovely safety features we also have us some bow speakers y'all when i tell you this thing gets loud in here it gets loud in here and when i'm in the bowls they're by my feet so and like this little small ones like you know you'll see in in when i show you guys the car but you know um when i'm driving and that music is up loud honey i can feel the vibrationals by my feet okay um you know sunroof moonroof whatever y'all whatever people want to call it we have one of them and it's not just the front it is a uh i guess a full moon roof so it goes from the front all the way to the back we have us a nice trunk um you know it auto start has the app to go with it the push start has the app that i can start it from inside of the cribos and i have the automatic start on my key um power windows power front seat for the driver everything else is you know not power um well you know regular handmade whatever y'all want to call that good stuff um so yes yeah, pretty much all the specs that i can call out from the top of my you know top of my head right about now i did go to the car wash just to give you guys this video because i knew that you know it was gonna have to get done so it might be a little a little dusty in here because i've had this car for literally going on a month it hasn't been a month yet but almost a month almost 30 days and you know we drive it, you know, the car's meant to be driven. So, you know, we drive it. I, I did clean up a little bit on the inside just for y'all and the outside so you can, y'all can see it in its prime form. My baby name is Prime. And, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and show you guys these specs. Now, watch my next video if y'all want to see how I got it, what happened to Blue Dragon, and all that good juicy stuff. We're going to have us a nice little tea time chit chat. I think I might do a mukbang or something, you know, so we can just sit here and talk about my life and what's been happening. Um, for a while so if you don't know this is a part of my series for five days of Lex um, my birthday is literally in four days so it's February 1st if we don't know now we know today's February 1st and my birthday is February 5th so yeah so we already have a video posted at 1 30 today we have a video tomorrow and all the way through Sunday because turn up for the birthday for the birthday girl turn up for the birthday girl for the birthday party don't mind how I look I got back from the gym I like, made this video for y'all but let's go ahead and get into this vehicle I'm excited hope y'all are excited let's go so we're gonna go ahead and start with the exterior of the car first as you can see i have this beautiful inline description plus these dope rims i wish they were all black but you know we still get that that sporty vibe that sporty look with these tires okay and they're and they're shining baby okay we have these lovely led lights from the front honestly i fell in love with the grill all black grill we love a good all black grill all black everything it has inline in the front as you can tell by the led lights this is the other side, same thing. I love the black. I love how it's not all white like an eggshell. It has hints of black, as you could tell. It had a it had my black my uh, black side mirrors. Okay, we're gonna. This is the trunk. Okay, you know we're just we're just taking around the vehicle so you guys can see just the exterior how it looks. Like I said, it's white. This is the inside. We're gonna start with this one. Okay, these are all your obviously mount functions. I love the red trimming in this vehicle. It is so freaking dope. Okay. The trimming in here just gets me 
what needs to be at, okay? Look, this is the steering wheel, okay? Love the good sporty steering wheel cover, steering wheel look. This is my dash, as I guess you could call it. Once again, we have this lovely, lovely red trimming okay my favorite color is red if you haven't noticed we have the end for the end line on the seats kind of a race car kind of look with the mesh I, i'm pointing out again the end line okay the end for the end line like i said the red trimming is so so fire maybe fall in love with the car once again this is the um glove compartment not glove compartment but you know the rest of the middle console heated seats all the everything that i've kind of just explained what i have on here this is the all-wheel drive by the way um, you know, get steer shift, all that great stuff. Okay, this is our handy dandy, lovely screen. Uh, I want to say this is 13 inches wide, I believe, but hey, man, it is dope. So it has navigation already built into it, my Bluetooth and everything. So if I don't want to use Apple CarPlay, I just want to use my regular car, I can. Um, so I can just type in anything I want right here in navigation. It'll just take, take me where I need to go. You have your plugs. This, this right here is actually a charging pad. So I can put my phone right there if I wanted to. You know, this is Apple CarPlay. Now, with this, I have to put in the USB to do Apple CarPlay. But I think that's because it already has navigation with it. This is the passenger side. We come with, you no, know, you, see, you see the rugs, you see the mats. I love the race car pedals. I love how they're metal. This is the all weather mat, and I have my cloth mat underneath. It says two cent in line. This is my rear mirror. It comes with a home a navigator garage opener. This is, you know, everything my blue link, my SOS, my lights, and my sunroof functionality is up there as well. I love my sunroof. See, I'm closing it, and then we're going to. I open it again but yeah so this is the full sunroof this is how it looks when it's closed kind of a little dark in here but you know now we're gonna open it back up again this looks so good okay this is my fantasy we love that remember i mentioned my bose speakers so this is this these are them him this is the back this is the back seat now okay we love the good back seat obviously ac we have two charging ports in the back as well you know because i even know i got no kids but you know if i ever have the road trip with the friends you know they have someone to charge their stuff at once again we have the red tracing of the stitching we have a nice little middle seat it's giving okay we love this for me um you know let the seats up or you know back and forth just like that and that's how we do our thing per friends i love i don't know i love this car i don't know about y'all but i do um once again yeah so this is what we love for me now we're gonna open the trunk up with the key fob you can hold it so you can hold it with the key fob hold it down automatic lifts now you can also put your hand, your hand under there and it has a button for it but i just love being you know keyless entries and, and whatnot okay and you guess you press the button right there and you get out of the way and you move you leave okay and this is my all black tent I'm going to explain the all black tent in a minute. So, yo. Okay, you guys. And after seeing the car, I hope you guys like the car. Well, I like the car. I don't care what you think about the car. But the part, the point of it is to show you guys that you can have luxury. You can have anything you want to have, honey. As long as you work hard for it and as long as you are willing to pay for it. Um. Oh, forgot to mention, we have some cute LED lights by the cup holders at the bottom. I will show y'all, but I'm not trying to lose my purse position with the camera because it was a little, little minute to try to position this correct because the lens is so thick and like me but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this car tour um i think as i'm gonna mention as i mentioned before the car did not come tinted like this i tinted it like this um the back to the back so the back two and my trunk was already tinted a little bit and then I put 15% on top of that. So that those are extra dark. They're going to be darker than, you know, the rest of the car. So, like, when you look into my window at nighttime or even in daytime, you cannot see the back. Like, you can't. You only thing you can see is yourself. Like, you can't. You cannot see inside of my vehicle. And that's exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, now, the front one did not come tinted. But it's still only just fit, it's still 15%. I made sure to keep them all the same. Sorry, the lighting is not lighting. So, you're going to hold it like this. But, yeah. So, I did 15%. Basically everywhere except for the windshield, I did thirty percent. Um, so you can still obviously you can still like see me from the front angle. You can rarely see me from the sides. Only time, uh, and that's during daytime. Now during nighttime, you can only see the light from the screen and from my um, monitor where it tells me like you know, how fast I'm going stuff like that. So yeah, and that's the point I'm trying to make here is I don't want anybody to see me. I don't want anybody to see inside my vehicle. At night or during daytime, 
it's crazy because my viewfinder my viewfinder okay so i'm using my my big camera that i use for my pictures and my viewfinder is on the side so if i'm looking to the side that's why but you know obviously if i'm looking here i'll also be here but i also want to see myself so i'm looking there because i I've, I've gotten somewhere somebody was like you know my, well, my mom watched my mom i can't even talk y'all my mom watched my video and she was like you know are you are you know you know you look at this that you know look at the camera i'm like yeah i'm looking at the viewfinder to the side looking at myself because this is weird but mind you on my other canon my mark two it comes up so when i'm looking up it it's like i'm looking at the camera but i'm not looking at the camera i'm actually looking at my my viewfinder but you know here it's on the side um so yeah with the tent this is how it is on the inside of my car it is significantly darker now mind y'all like i put on my story if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram like i put on my story if you're not willing to drive at nighttime with tent don't get a tent too dark because you have to have some really nice beams and some really high beams and be able to see like no other to drive at night because i cannot really see throughout my two windows over here also note that this right here my um review mirror is already tinted so it already helps me not have a glare from the other lights and then my back window is tinted twice so keep that in mind so mind you girl i don't be struggling but you know if you want it's a little it's a little you know not viewing you feel me so with my window so, so like you see how now you see all the light coming in and then obviously with the tent it's a little darker um so if you look a little closer let me see if i can show y'all so yeah so if you look a little closer you can see from my tent to where my window is you get what i'm saying so this is the tent and this is my window from before it was tinted you see the difference and obviously you see from here in here you can look from in here and then you look from outside it is a significant difference um i'm not really sure how the back windows look because i was like i said they're double tinted but i haven't sat in the back obviously because you know why well, i need to sit in the back of my own vehicle um so yeah sorry i gotta cut my hand it hurt so yeah so that's this car this is prime I hope you guys enjoy prime. I want to show you guys that you can have a luxury, a nice luxurious vehicle experience without having to pay 100k, you know, 90k for a vehicle. Now I can get into the finances of this car, how much it cost me, and everything like that when I talk about what happened to my vehicle. And you know, we can, you know, we can get to all the handy any questions, probably figuring out how I bought a car, a brand new vehicle before I turn 21. So we can get to all of that, but you know. We'll, we'll, we'll break it down. I'll break it down for y'all. We'll get into it. I will get into give into my living situation. We'll get into all of that so y'all can really understand and see how you're at, how you how you can maneuver. Now, in reality, cars are liability. They are not assets. So really, buying a car brand new is kind of pointless because once you drive off a lot, it loses its value. We know that you can you can turn your car into an asset by you know renting it out on Turo and all those great things. But for me. I'm just driving my car, okay, honey? Because like I said, when y'all hear the story about what happens to my, to why I decided to get a new car, you're going to be like, yeah, girl, you probably deserve that new car, okay? So, yeah, but other than that, you know, but my priority is straight, though. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to get into it. You know, I, got, I got my degree, okay? You know, that's what I wanted for me. But my sister calling me, so I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.